It has been a monumental week in Myanmar since the nation's transition to civilian rule started five years ago. And there has been a flood of foreign investment and a big construction boom. But as David Grumbon reports, little has changed for most of the country's people. Looking across Yangon, it's easy to spot hotels under construction, new shopping malls with global brand names, and Western fast food outlets that you could not find here just a couple of years ago. Just five minutes away by ferry is the town of Dala. It's where Labor Among Mong lives with his family. Together with his wife, who works as a street vendor, they earn the equivalent of about 100 U.S. dollars a month. It's a typical household income around these parts. Rent for their small home is around $20 a month. There's no electricity, and this is what they have instead of a toilet. With four children to feed, the couple barely scrapes by. It's a world apart from the fancy shops and restaurants across the waters nearby. It's a struggle day to day for us. For all the new stores, restaurants, construction, and apparent signs of progress, truth is most of the people in this country live a lifestyle similar to this. Garbage is strewn across the community, and there's been little spent on developing the area or raising the standard of living. Few children complete their schooling because they have to go to work so they can help support their families. It's a cycle of poverty that continues from one generation to another. No, I don't. Something Tun Yin, who became a regional parliamentarian in February, hopes to break. We have to create job opportunities for these people. We have to stop the corruption, and we have to be smarter with money we collect from taxes, so that money is used to improve people's lives. The incoming government wants to improve schools, creating better-paying jobs. Only providing children with a full education will they be able to climb out of this trap. But it could take years to bring about real change. Decades of government corruption and wasteful spending have crippled this community, and the new government cannot afford to fail. Otherwise, this ongoing cycle of poverty will continue for generations to come. Dave Grunbaum, CCTV, Dala, Myanmar.